going to show you the typical readings that you should expect with normal operation uh, on things like the uh, fuel trims and uh, oxygen sensor readings. I'm using the track recording add-on for the uh, Torque app for Android. Right now you can see I'm uh, overlaying gauges on the video. This is handy if you uh, have a track or uh, a particular road and you want to monitor readings. So at the top left we've got the EGR at reading minimum voltage because we're sitting here idling. The RPM of course. Throttle position is closed. There you go. You can see it go up. And fuel trims uh, is down at the bottom fluctuating. You want to see single digits. In other words, uh, no more than nine either way. The closer to zero, the better. And just above that is the moving scale with uh, O2 voltage. I'm just monitoring one bank right now. If there was a problem, I'd monitor both banks. So uh, we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive here on the level and you'll be able to um, see the readings. Uh, as far as fuel trims and O2 voltage readings, they're gonna stay the same as what they do right now because the PCM is relying on O2 voltage when uh, I'm just cruising. You'll see the O2, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the EGR voltage will go up as the EGR kicks in as the uh, computer adds a little more uh, exhaust gas to the uh, intake manifold for emission purposes. So, in gear, and away we go. Now you can see the EGR voltage has already gone up. So the uh, PCM is already uh, adding some exhaust gas. Now just up a hill, up ahead is a hill, and uh, I'm going to show you what happens when you go flat out. The fuel trims will go to zero, and the O2 voltage must go to maximum. So you'll see that little uh, scale that's swinging back and forth. It'll go all the way to the right. That's going to happen after I get about. 75% throttle. So as long as I'm under 75% throttle, the DCM is relying on the O2 readings over this little bit of a crest here. And I'm going to floor it now. And you'll see the fuel trims have dropped to zero. And the O2 voltage is maxed out. I'm getting adequate fuel. If I was getting less than adequate fuel, the voltage at the O2 would be less than that because the uh, engine is getting less fuel than it needs to and the O2 voltage has dropped below what it would normally read. That could indicate a weak fuel pump, uh, a bad uh, injector spider, fuel filter clogged, so I'm going to make a U-turn and we're going to go down the hill and you're going to see what happens. Right now we're heading down to the hill. Now what's going to happen when the throttle is closed and the engine is overrunning, in other words I'm coasting with the throttle closed, the computer is going to cut the fuel to the injectors. So what's going to happen is the fuel trim drops to zero and the O2 voltage virtually drops to zero. So I'm not using any gas right now. This is normal operation. As soon as I open the throttle a little bit, the O2 kicks in again and the fuel trim starts to fluctuate and that's normal operation. 